Oh my god! Oh, this is gonna kill me! I'm about to die! Oh, damn! What's good, guys? I'm Burst Like I here today. We're gonna be playing more WWE 2K23 My Res Mode. So, last time we had a match against the New Day, it was Evolution versus the New Day. Oh, which is, you know, Randy Orton, Gabriel Slade, and Isaiah Payne. But we had a match against New Day, we won. And then we're, we did a uh, match against Carmelo Hayes, and we won that too. Which set up for an uh, Intercontinental Championship match against Omos. And we're going to head to that match right now. So, let's see what happens. Oh, I'm about to lose my championship. I'm going to be mad if it doesn't say win on the top left. I'm going to be mad if it doesn't say win right there. I'm going to be so mad. God damn it, we're losing. See, when, it's, when it doesn't say win the match, I already know I'm going to lose. I already got Omar solo. Oh, MVP, no. MVP, we ain't doing this again. We already did this last episode with Carmelo Hayes. We ain't doing this again. Now Omos is doing a comeback. I used to be the guy who did all the comebacks. Now Omos is doing a super good comeback. Oh my god. Or this game just doesn't really reverse anything. Maybe that's what it is. Oh my. No Omos. No. The hell out of here. Now what does he want me to do now? Climb the top rope. Oh, he's gonna choke slam me off the top rope. Oh, he's he's killing me. He's choking me. Oh, oh, the referee. Oh, no, yep. Now I'm gonna MVP. Oh, my dick, my balls, my penis. Oh my God, please, no, no. Oh my God. Don't wake up, ref. Don't wake up, ref. Don't wake up, ref. Please kick out. Please, 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 please. I'm going to sleep. You know what? Oh, my God. Isaiah Payne, you're so stupid. You're such an idiot. You're so dumb. Now there's now I'm not even a champion at all. I ain't no tag team champion. I ain't no intercontinental champion. I'm just me. Where's Orton and Slate? They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the hurt business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? What the hell? I've heard people say I'm a follower, that I lack killer instinct, that it's held me back my entire WWE career. I'm done with all that. Oh, now you're done I with all that after all this bullshit. Stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made. I hope I get to beat them up right now. And your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the new day was a wake up call. And then your stubbornness against the hurt business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed repeatedly. What's next? You gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. 
Wow. Wow, Randy. Wow, Randy. You're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again. Beat him up, Pain. Turn around, kick him. Oh. Okay, no more evolution. <laughs> Isaiah Payne was not a tag team guy anyway. Video game cover. Lost your intercontinental championship and then quit evolution. Stirring of bad luck or all part of the plan? Miff you. It was bad luck. I had Omas beat before the ref got in the way and the hurt business cheated to take my title. But honestly, it's for the better. I feel like a, a weight has been lifted from me. Dead weight in the form of Orton and Gabe. I never felt comfortable in evolution. But now that that's all behind me, I can focus on what's next. For real. Well, I certainly believe in you. But what's next? <laughs> the guy I know I'll become was. WWE champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE universe. I'm about to call out Triple H. Be like, Triple H, you ain't booking me right. Then we can have a match against Triple H. <laughs> Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world Yeah, champion. Brock Lesnar. I'm Brock Lesnar. And of course, the lock. And a lock. It worked for a while. But let's be honest, it felt forced <clears throat> from day one. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management. Sean, no way I'm gonna have a match against Shawn Michaels. VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Sean was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK. <laughs> Shawn Michaels set all this I up from the start. He set all this up right from the start, didn't he? So we can this was all him. All of it. All this was Shawn Michaels. Get out here! Strong words from the lock. Yeah, you better be careful here. And Shawn Michaels Get out of here, heartbreak kid. Heartbreak old man, get in here. I'm about to break you. You've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Ooh. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on. I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. Yeah, you gave me that weird outfit, Sean. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes men put me in the, the that Rock Show. Put, you got. put me in the same place at the Rock Show. Do okay. all this. Put me in a fashion you knew wouldn't really work. Do this. We've heard your side of things. Here's mine, aka the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that, and you never gave any of it a fair shot. You don't deserve a fair shot that looks like There's shit. No change in your mind, because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success. This is getting crazy. Nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on, name one thing. Okay, let's get it all out there. If things weren't going as expected, I, 
went to Randy Orton, an MVP, and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. Uh oh. That's how much we believed in you. That we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work. Because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit. Throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Did you hear the audience just go like, oh. And blaming everyone else. And do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged oh, here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Ooh. Oh damn! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. You're fired! Oh shit. Did Sean Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. No, I got a bad ending. Is this bad ending? This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. We've got a ton of moves to capture before. What the hell? Why am I going against Cole Quinn? Why am I in a mocap suit? Come on, let's see what you got. Top row move. Alright. So now we just we just making games now. All right, let's get a top row moving here since that's what it wanted me to do. Boom. Buzz. Let's see a submission hold. Don't tap him out though. Let's get a shot of the actual hold. Give me a pin attempt. Can be any kind. Just make sure the match doesn't end. Let's pin off this new move. No, it didn't. God, Cole Quinn, you're ruining my life. One. Get up so I can please do the taunt. Why are you bringing out a chair? It didn't tell you to motion capture a chair. Get that shit out of here. Get that. Oh no, not on the chair. Oh, this is gonna kill me. I'm about to die. Oh, I missed. Okay. You know what, Cole Quinn? Get up. You know what I think you deserve? Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you get for ruining my damn. Okay, I'm not going to use my get up and waste my signature like I did a couple episodes ago. No. Please don't reverse. Give me a finisher. Hurry it up. It's almost one. Yeah. Finisher time. What the hell? Finisher time. I just got word that our VIP guest has arrived. VIP guest. One, two. No. Cole Quinn, he said to hurry this up, not kick out. You know what? I haven't done a submission in a while. Let me tap you out. Oh, you're going to grab my leg. You're going to grab my leg. You're going to grab my leg. Uh, I won't tap him out. I'll just make him lose real quick. One, two, it's over. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> what the hell? It wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? What's wrong with you, Sami Zayn? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? 
Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers. Screw you, Sammy Zayn! <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Great. Excellent. Now up to the corner, please. Ooh. Oh, damn. What the hell? You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me. Cut. Cut. That's enough. I'm about to go to jail. Come on, let's do this. Let's go. I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go. This was assault, and it's all on. This camera. is so sad. Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me. Actually, I think we have. You're fired again. Bye. Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Man, I don't know what's wrong with Isaiah Payne. He didn't even have to do all that. Should we wake him up? Yeah, I don't think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, oh damn! Morning, sunshine! <sighs> what's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. What the fuck? You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Eh, I'll allow it. <laughs> anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months. And what? What's really going on with you more than anyone? We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just... Hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a What the hell? So we're getting off. Damn. Point is, you're throwing away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. <clears throat> yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. But if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you, every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you... Why is she that? here? I told you, I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished. Especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be... Man, too. this girl Kat definitely likes us a pain. I mean, look at the way she's treating homie. All right. We're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. This coffee runs straight through me. Wow. Oh, I got a lot of things. All right. Well, we're going to end this video right here. This video did definitely go over time because there was a lot of story stuff. But yeah, uh, next time we're going to talk to this guy, Tavish, over here. I don't even know who he is, but apparently we're going to get our life back on track. Because, like, what do we do? We lost the Intercontinental Championship. We lost our fashion. We got fired from WWE. We got fired from the MoCab Street. What's next? But, uh, yeah, we're going to pick this up in the next episode. Hopefully his life gets turned upside down. And, you know, as you guys already know, peace.